Hi there everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video promises to be a super exciting product review for all you tiny boot pilots out there because we're going to be looking at a brand new tiny boot battery from Newbie Drone, the Newbie Drone Nitro Nectar Gold NX69. Now the Nitro Nectar Gold has been one of the best tiny boot batteries for a long time but the addition of this new NX69 connector brings something pretty special. Better performance than BT 2.0 with full backwards compatibility for all PH 2.0 connectors, which is particularly useful for using all of your PH 2.0 chargers whilst getting the really, really good discharge performance with the NX69 connector on the drone. I'm gonna be talking you through the new features of this connector, how you use it, and we're also, of course, gonna be putting this new battery through its paces on my battery tester. It's a lot to cover in one video, so let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into it. If at any point during this video, you'd like to pick up a set of Nitro Nectar Gold NX69 batteries for yourself, then I'll put a link down in the video description to where you can get them today. And it will be an affiliate link, so if you click through and make a purchase, the retailer will make a small donation to me to help support this channel and make more videos for you guys, and it won't cost you anything. So please do use that link if you possibly can. So here is the new Newbie Drone Nitro Nectar Gold NX69. And if I put it side by side with the original Nitro Nectar Gold, you can see that the two batteries are virtually identical. They weigh the same, they're exactly the same size, and they've even got pretty much the same specs on them. The only difference that I could spot is that this older Nitro Nectar Gold has a 40C slash 80C rating, whereas the new NX69 just has the 80C rating. Now, I don't know if that means there's any difference in performance. We'll probably see that during the battery testing. The main difference with this battery is the new connector. And again, let's put it side by side with the PH 2.0 on the original Nitro Nectar Gold. You can see that the uh, NX69 is a blade type connector compared to the pin type connector on the PH 2.0. This gives more area for um, current to flow, so it reduces the resistance of the connection. But because the spacing of the blades is exactly the same as the spacing of the pins on PH 2.0, you can plug an NX69 battery into a PH 2.0 charger or even a PH 2.0 drone and it will connect and work perfectly, which is really cool. When you pair the NX69 blade connector with the NX69 drone connector, so this pigtail here, then you get better conductivity than a BT 2.0 connector. So um, you can just take one of these uh, NX69 blade connectors, solder it onto the drone, use your standard PH 2.0 charger because you don't charge a very high current and you'll get better conductivity, better performance than a BT 2.0 um, and it could be a lot more convenient, if, particularly if you have a lot of PH 2.0 chargers. So now that we've looked at the connector on the bench, it's time to put it through its paces on the battery tester and see if it lives up to the performance specs that Newbie Drone claim. The first test we're gonna look at is a constant power discharge test. Here we're discharging the packs from 4.35 volts, fully charged, all the way down to 3.1 volts, which is fully empty. And we're doing that under a constant power of 13.3 watts, which works out to be a 12C constant power discharge when you take into account the nominal voltage of the cells and their capacity. Here we're comparing the Nitro Nectar Gold NX69 cells, the new cells in orange, against the Nitro Nectar Gold PH 2.0 cells that I tested about a year ago. And you can see that overall the voltage discharge curves are pretty similar. Um, I think there might have been a small change in chemistry for these NX69 cells because we don't see a characteristic hump here in the discharge curve. Um, it's more smooth and the voltage drop is a little bit more at the start of the discharge than what we got with the, the PH 2.0 cells. Also, the capacity is slightly different. So the PH 2.0 cells came out at um, about 320 milliamp hours. The NX69 cells I've just tested are ever so slightly heavier, about um, 0.1 grams or so heavier than the PH 2.0 cells, um, but they're coming in at pretty much exactly 300 milliamp hours um, on average. So very, very accurate to capacity, um, but a little bit less than the 320 that I tested from the old Nitro Nectar Golds. Chris from the future here. Newbie Drone have confirmed that they haven't changed the chemistry of these batteries, but they have optimized the construction of the cells for power delivery, which might explain the small variances that we're seeing here. Moving on to the really interesting data, which is the burst power testing, 
The NX69s have a big advantage over the PH 2.0s in terms of burst power. We're seeing about 20% more power at 80% full for the NX69 connector versus the PH 2.0 connector, which is a big, big uplift for a tiny whoop, going from about 48, 49 watts up to more like 55, 56, 57 watts. So it's a big jump. And some of the cells are delivering over 60 watts um, under that burst load test. In case you're wondering about how I do my burst test, I discharge the cells at 15C for 48 seconds to take them down to 80% full. And then I ramp 1C per second until the cell voltage drops below 3.1 volts. And we look at the maximum power that the cell was able to deliver during that test. And that's how we get this number. It's a really good measure of how well the cell can deliver power when you're doing punch outs or when you're you know, going full throttle with a tiny when you're racing it. So for sure that 20% increase in power is very tempting, but it does require you to solder on an NX69 connector onto your drone. And the challenge with that is that the NX69 is not compatible with a PH 2.0 battery. So that would mean that if you have PH 2.0 batteries, you couldn't use them anymore. So what if we use the NX69 battery, but we keep the PH 2.0 connector on the drone? Because that means that we'd be able to use either PH 2.0 or NX69 batteries. So here's the data for NX69 on the battery, PH 2.0 on the drone, or in my case, the battery tester. You can see that we still get a 13.7% increase in maximum power, moving from the Nitro Nectar Gold PH 2.0 to the Nitro Nectar Gold NX69, even though we're still using a PH 2.0 on the drone side. And this would then be fully compatible with PH 2.0 batteries as well, because you could still plug those in um, to the same drone. So now that we've done a thorough deep dive on these new batteries, it's time for me to give you my thoughts on the Nitro Nectar Gold NX69. And overall, I think this NX69 connector is a really neat innovation from Newbie Drone. The fact that you can buy a battery with a connector that is completely interoperable with your PH 2.0 chargers and your PH 2.0 drones, but that still gives you about a 13 or 14 percent uplift in maximum power is fantastic. And it makes it a no brainer if you're using a PH 2.0 battery like a Nitro Nectar Gold today, you might as well just buy the NX69 batteries and take the extra performance. I think there is a little bit more to think about when you're considering whether to solder on this NX69 connector onto your drone. Because once you do that, you won't be able to use PH 2.0 batteries with that drone. And, um, but you will get about 7% more performance from having the NX69 on the drone as well. So that is gonna be probably a, a no brainer for people who are racing or who are only gonna be using NX69 batteries and are retiring all their PH 2.0 packs. But if you're still using both types, it's probably worth just sticking with a PH 2.0 on the drone until you finally retire all your PH 2.0 batteries and then you solder on the NX69 to get that last bit of performance. Other than that, these are the Nitro Nectar Golds that we know and love. They are still the best tiny whip batteries that you can buy, according to my testing. Um, they give the best performance. So yeah, just having a slightly better connector on them for people who are using PH 2.0 is fantastic. If you're someone who's using BT 2.0, you've got BT 2.0 chargers, you've got BT 2.0 connectors on your drones, I would say it's not worth switching over to NX69. Just stick with BT 2.0 for now because the performance difference is very, very marginal. Um, that's going to be the right approach. So I hope that's been useful. Um, as always, if you're looking to pick up any of these products, there are links down in the video description and those links are affiliate links. So if you click through and make a purchase, the retailer will make a small donation to help support this channel and it won't cost you anything. So please do use those links if you possibly can. That's all I have for you for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. So until next time, I wish you all very, very happy flying.